We're awful glad you stopped by. We just want to say hello. 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 Ah, uh, today we just have a little video, just having fun, telling lies, goofing around, uh, all while building up apple pie uh, with ingredients from our homestead here, the apples and the lard and the eggs for the egg wash and, uh, you know, and you might think, man, I'm in the mood for blackberry. Well, you know, I was in the mood for blackberry too. Uh, I went to get the blackberries, had some canned up. I don't know where they're all at. You might have to ask Opie. Anyhow, Opie and Opie, he helps a little bit more in the video too. And, and Bubba, the dancing rooster. Bubba can't dance, but he thinks he can. Uh, we barter out of some eggs out of him and uh, Roxy and Amos, they're, they're in on the fun. She kind of hard to see. You look down there, she's always down there at her feet wondering why I'm being so goofy, but that happens whether we're on video or not. First part of the video is just a little bit slow. It's just a, me telling a little bit of a meaningful story of why I built this particular video. I changed the names in it to protect the innocent or guilty. Uh, but if you want to skip that, I'll be honest with you, it is kind of boring. But it's, it's, it's true, and it means something to me. So I included it in the first couple minutes of the video. If you don't want to watch that, can't stand it, just go to about right there in the video, and we'll start having some fun. In the bank a while ago, I asked Mr. Drysdale if I could have enough money to buy two cups of flour. <laughs> Went all laughing, quieted down. Uh... And he reminded me that I still hadn't paid back the loan for the apple seeds to plant this here apple tree. They, they, they was happy I come in. They, they said, that's a funny thing like you always coming in here opening with a joke trying to borrow money. On the way out the door, Jane, she stops and talks to me. And this part's true here. I know you can't believe a word out of my mouth. This part's pretty true. Uh, she asked me what I was doing. I said, well, I'm out gallivanting. Had to come in here and do this and that. And... I was headed a pie up to my dad's and kind of surprised her. She said, you bake pies. And I was dressed just like I am now. That's, that's who I am. She's something along the lines of, you know, asking if I really baked a pie. I said, well, yeah, I baked a couple last night. Well, that's kind of neat. I said, well, it's off of apple trees and my own apple trees. Well, she thought that was neater. I told her, well, if you really want to know, I said, I built my own pie crust out of lard that we'd rendered out of the hogs that I'd butchered. Anyhow, so on and so forth, uh, back to a little bit of the, what the channel's kind of about, just doing a little bit of everything and and uh, being self-sufficient. So she suggested that I make a video. So with her inspiration, I am going to make a video, I think about start to finish, of how I make a pie uh, here, using most of the stuff that come off the farm. And... Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Watch it all the way through. There'll be boring parts. There'll be good parts. There'll be funny parts. You never know what's going to come out of my mouth. I just fly by the seat of my pants. So y'all have a big time. I'm sure glad you're here. Hope to see you again next time. Like, subscribe, do all that good jazz. Uh, it helps me out. It makes me know that, hey, people are enjoying this because I didn't know if people would enjoy this. I'm Little Red Riding Hat. Come to steal apples from where they're at. For one pie, get yourself about six apples. That's pretty well all the fingers on one hand, plus one off the, off the other hand. Unless you're lucky, like old Mike, he's got six on each hand. So one hand, the first thing you want to do is get in your way back machine, go way back to last fall when it was nice out, and go to render and lard. When you get that done, I'll meet you right back here. Now, if you did it right, you saved the leaf lard separate. That'll make your best pie crust, the best flakiest one. And if your way back machine's broke down, you can't go get no lard. Uh, you can run up there to Sam Drucker's General Store and either buy you some of them ready-made pie crust. He's got them in that ice cooler in between the pickle barrel and the nails, right where they're at. Just walk in there, tell Sam I sent you. He'll give you a discount. Now what I like to do is I like to throw this lard right now in the refrigerator or freezer, take your pick, depends on how long it's going to take you, while I'm peeling my apples. That lard, butter, Crisco, whatever you're using, if that's cold, short of being frozen, that will knife into my pie crust better 
later on and it won't make me lose my temper so bad. Next thing you want to do is get out your trusty Barlow and get to peeling apples. Oh, that reminds me, before you do any of this, get to grease and grime out from under your fingernails. You won't be sterile for this here operation. We're gonna move into modern, turn on the lights, use the apple peeler. Now we don't throw none of the stuff over here on the side away. Nothing goes to waste around here as food wise. The hogs eat that, the chickens eat it. Somebody will eat that. This ain't none of that go to waste. This is the good stuff. Uh, if you find a worm in there, you're all right. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Uh, if you find a half a worm, stop the operation and uh, find the other half. You don't want people getting a taste for the worms because sometime of the year you can't find more worms in there and if that's how the only way people like them, you'll never make them happy with a pie again. Now next thing you want to do, because remember you sterilized yourself with that knife while ago, you'll want to wipe that off real good. And then I take a quarter of them apples, them slices, now this next part's kind of up to you. It really doesn't matter as long as it's the right consistency. You need some ground up red powdery stuff. You can use cayenne pepper, uh, rotisserie chicken seasoning, allspice, uh, chili powder, turmeric, uh, Cajun seasoning, uh, cinnamon, just whatever you like. Uh, just as long as it's red and ground up. That's really the only part that matters. Just throw you a mess that in there. Depends on how much you like it. And throw you a little mess of flour in there. I don't know how much. Just a little bit. Oh, depends on how gummy you like the guts of your pie to be. If you like it set up more, uh, something you can walk outside with a piece of pie and not spill it down your shirt. Well, there you go. If you like it a little bit runnier, a little bit less flour. And throw you in a little mess of sugar. These apples here is a little early, so oh, that probably looks about right. And then just stir that around there, get all them coated up good. Don't worry about making a mess on the countertop. Me and my wife, we got her figured out. Uh, I do a lot of the cooking, and she does all the cleaning. Uh, now every once in a while, she cooks too. And, and so as not to uh, not to make her feel left out, I still let her do the cleaning then too. Number one, my old crippled up hands, arthritis bad. They won't hardly fit a broom or a dishcloth or nothing. Now you remember we heaved that lard in the freezer there a while ago, so it's cold. I do the same thing with my rolling pins. I got two of them. This in here, you can tell this made some pies before. <laughs> this part's serious. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Them things make me so mad sometimes. I bent the handle on it, throwing it out across the driveway with a pie crust that was stuck to it and ripped up. Oh, man, makes me mad just thinking about it. Throw them in the freezer. They won't make you so mad. And the reason I use two, I'll use one if it starts warming up. They don't stay cold that long. I'll switch it out, throw it in the freezer, and grab the other one. Now just heave you about, <coughs> oh, two cups of flour is what recipe calls for. You can eyeball it fine, but I'm telling you about what it needs. Take salt and, oh, I think that calls for half a teaspoon, so just measure out the palm of your hand. Or fetch your lard back out of the freezer. And, uh, oh, about a half a cup in there. And see if we can get that shook down in there. She's, she's good and solid. That'll crumble up nice. Get your jar all cleaned out best you can. You can throw that outside and let the dogs and the possums sterilize that, and they'll get down in them nooks and crannies there, and it'll be re that jar will be ready to use again. Uh, speaking of that, if you got another quart jar laying around with a clear liquid in it, now would be a good time to mess with that. It helps with the patience level in case this, uh, this here starts going south on us. Like I say, it works a lot better like this cold, and you'll start getting little balls in there. Oh size of a pea down to the size of a bee, but you just want it mixed around in there, but you don't want it melted up that much. And when you get that all mashed down in there, <laughs> pretty decent like that, you go get your sippy cup full of water. I'm always packing around water, and it's always ice water, and you want cold water for this. Uh, 
hopefully you didn't backwash in it too bad and start mixing that around till we get to a good consistency that's one thing about this channel it ain't gonna have no consistency guys because I do so dang much stuff about the only thing that is consistent is the fact that I'm always doing always doing something don't know what the heck it's gonna be uh, you guys let me know what you like to see out of what I do and I'll try to make it happen I just don't know what interests some people I guess don't interest others and well you'll have that you can't make everybody happy uh, and I ain't necessarily uh, I didn't honestly set out to make everybody happy I set out just to show a little bit of what I do around here uh, I make myself happy my wife happy that's my that's my goal in life uh, so I may get up and cook this and be out wrenching on that and come in and I come in last night Lori she and I worked hard all day uh, she said boy she sure was in a mood for a good meal for a change and wondered if I'd go ahead and cook supper I want to be able to make it into a ball pull out in half but I throw both of these in the refrigerator now Get, they're still cool, but I want them colder than that when I go to work in them. So I'll go on about doing some other stuff for a few minutes, getting some other stuff ready. And then we'll come back out and uh, hopefully mash these out. Can I trade you out of some eggs? Bubba, did you lay any eggs today? You didn't. Shh. I'll have to go steal some eggs from the other chicken house. Bubba's over there. He ain't paying no attention. Be right back. So you take your fresh cackleberry, oh crap, and some milk, and yeah, we'll just fetch that out of there. Don't pay no attention to that. That's just how stuff works. We gotta go get some milk now. Hang on. You give a awful pretty one. Oh, you did, didn't you? It don't take more than just a teaspoon of milk. Get your cleanest fork from breakfast, because this already got egg on it, see? That way you ain't wasting. And you just spin the heck out of that until she ain't clumpy no more. You can't stand that. You gotta mash that stuff up real good. You wanna be able to slurp that up through one of them there little bitty straws you get at them coffee shops. Now for this next thing, you wanna wait till the wife's gone cause it's gonna make a mess. You just throw you some flour out there on the table, little mess, turn around the refrigerator, get that cold ball cold ball of pie crust what's been cooling off you get one of your cold rolling pans and well it's just simple as that you just roll her get rolling her out while it's cold notice how it may bite me in the butt but notice how it ain't sticking to my rolling pin or nothing I like to roll it I like to turn it over every once in a while flour out the other side if I need to I try to keep both floured up get my pie pan out of the way got to have that out here so I can see what size to roll this out to it ain't like them ones you get up there at Drucker's they, they just fit one size pie pan uh, about time to roll her over again before I roll them over I like putting me just a little dust in the powder on that other side because it's going to hit that counter and this daggum granite countertop takes heat out of stuff so fast Boy, I'll be amazed if I can turn this over without tearing it. And I didn't. Oh, we're in the business now. Keep it cold. Keep it cold and you can do stuff like that. Let it warm up and it'll be sticking to that. And you're liable to see it here in a minute. I don't know. Uh, she warms up, oh, it starts sticking to everything. You just can't do nothing with it. I got like to have my pie pan handy, make sure it's about the right size. I think it is. Well, here's the moment of truth when you try to pick that pie crust up and lay that in your pan here and try to get it about centered up and mash her down in there a little bit. I like letting all that stuff there hang over the sides. It ain't hurting nothing. If I need a little bit for the next pie crust, I fill in a hole or something, I can do it. If I don't need it, uh, you'll see what'll happen with that here in just a minute. 
And of course, next step, we're back to this here business that we had a while ago. Oh, that'll, that'll do all right. Get that spatula and scrape all them goodies out of the bottom of that bowl. Don't want to give dogs diabetes after a while when they're doing the dishes for me. If you can't tell, I'm all, I'm kind of what a lot of people would call health nut. I mean, well, heavy on the nut maybe, but one thing you can say about my stuff, it ain't got much preservatives in it, and I feel a lot better by not eating it. I'm into the modern stuff around here. I just turned around behind me and, and mashed her up about 375 degrees and let that start warming up. And then we'll roll this pie crust in there. Uh, all that stuff hanging over the edge, that ain't hurt nothing yet. And if you like a lot of crust around the sides, why you can eat it just how it is. If you don't like a lot of crust around the sides, we well, can take that off and give that to the dogs. I just let whatever's hanging over the side, I just mash that back down in there. And, uh, Yeah, sometimes I'll run around, my fingers are clean enough, pinch that up, and make that all pretty around the sides. Be right back. You've been watching this cackleberry and moo juice slurry this whole time, probably wondering what I'm going to do with it. Well, I ain't making an omelet. Not right now. I'll fry up the rest of it, what's left after a while. It's like I say, nothing goes to waste here, and I'll give it to the dogs or made it myself ain't nothing wrong with it but uh i brush that on there on that pie uh martha stewart probably call that an egg wash or something no she probably has a fancy term for it your grandmother probably called it an egg wash we don't live like martha stewart we probably live like your grandma so we'll call it an egg wash too and i like throwing them store-bought right there, buddy. Them's nice. Uh, I tried talking Lori and letting me get the wheel, uh, wheel covers off her Jeep so I could use them, but she allowed how she'd just pay 39 cents for a mess of those. Throw it in the oven for a half hour. At the end of a half hour, I'll see you guys back. Well, the next thing you want to do, you want to get out your wood hauling gloves. Your hay baling gloves ain't heavy enough for this. Been in there for about a half hour. I went out took the loader off the tractor because I'm going to start back, uh, mowing hay here in just a little bit. But I'm going to take that pie out and show you what we got so far. And we'll set her up there and I'll show you what we're going to do next to it. Try to get this done before my wife gets home. Dad gummit, she puts up with a lot. She shouldn't have to put up with this, so. I should have done it before, but you need to jab a couple holes in there with your bar low. Let some of that steam out. See how it's cracking up. Anyhow, we go back to that egg washing business and we put us another little layer of that on there. After you get that cackleberry and mood juice slurry put on there a second time, put a little bit of brown sugar on top. You don't have to put much. Uh, you'll, you'll see why here in just a little bit. I won't bore you. We'll be back in 30 minutes. That's either one full Beverly Hillbillies episode or half of a Festus Dillon and Matt Hagen gun smoke episode. Well, that was just enough time to go out and get the hay mower hooked up so I can mow hay tomorrow and have time to wash up my hands and clean out from under my fingernails again. We'll get that pie out. I don't, while we're waiting on that pie to come out, let me know what you guys like seeing. Uh, I do about everything. Them cabinet doors behind me, them's all off my sawmill. We build all the cabinets this house. There's not a store-bought stick of lumber in this house. Everything in here come off the sawmill, uh, tongue and groove on the walls and ceilings. Every bit come off of here. Uh, we built this house ourselves. Uh, and just every little thing, things I don't even think about, like my pliers holster you might see. Heck, I sewed that up out of an old nail apron. You guys all probably work someplace and you see the new person coming in with uh, all their newest doodads they bought. Well, shucks, I didn't want to go to town and buy a new pair of pliers holster uh, and look like a greenhorn there in front of my chickens and my cows and my hogs and peacocks and every stuff. Stuff like that I don't think anybody else has an interest in. And then next thing you know, people say, man, I'd like to know how you done that. 
what I see as normal, just everyday living, uh, inexpensive and kind of living, uh, just doing everything for yourself you can. And cause it ain't all uh, hay chaff and sawdust in my pockets when she does my laundry. Here comes the pie. We got our gloves on. We're gonna take the pie out and see what we got. And here it comes. You know they're done when they're faster and about like ingrown hair. Uh, and the top's turning nice color like that. That's what that egg wash and that brown sugar will do for you. Guys, appreciate her. Thanks for watching. I'm glad you watched this far. Thank you. Cell phone. See how Kathy held him to. <laughs>